Hola guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Beauty by Lenoria across all of my social media platforms. If you would, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. Go ahead and share it amongst your family, friends, and coworkers. And definitely go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the description in the comment section down below. But as you guessed it from today's title, today is going to be <clears throat> a luxury haul. There's no other way to put this particular haul that we're doing right now. I'm going to try to keep it as short and sweet as possible. But if you're ready to see some of the items that came in from both jewelry and handbags, let's go ahead and start the haul. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing really do. So the first items that came in on my actual haul are going to be coming in from some boutiques that I shop at here in Metro Atlanta. <laughs> um, so this is all going to be jewelry for this first part of the haul. Now, if you know anything about me or you've had a chance to look at, you know, pretty much anything that I have and that I do, then you'll know that I'm a huge sucker, huge sucker for statement pieces of jewelry, ordinary pieces of jewelry, but more or less the very extraordinary pieces of jewelry that you may not see all the time and you definitely won't see on everybody else all of the time. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the smaller pieces that actually um, I was able to get my little grubby hands on. Um, one of the ladies, since I always shop in her shop, she also gifted me a piece as well. So I'll definitely go ahead and talk about the piece that was gifted to me. Um, pretty much, I've been shopping with her for almost three years now. So every time I go into a store, whenever I buy a dress or a jumper or whatever it is I'm buying in her store, she'll always give me a free piece of jewelry and I really appreciate the fact that she remembers my face. Pretty sure she remembers the amount of money I spend. That's why she remembers my face, but I don't always spend a lot. Sometimes I just go in there and just get one thing for $20 and keep it moving. So, you know, for whatever reason, I, again, I told you guys, I'm always grateful for any and everything. So, first thing we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about the Chevron ring that she gifted me. And it's just a ring for you to go ahead and put on your hand and your finger that she gifted me with my purchase. And I'm just enamored by this particular ring. I love this ring. I just love this ring because it's the crystals, so you can wear it with any, pretty much any piece of of the jewelry that you have coordinating that has any type of gold with it, pretty much any outfit that's gold appropriate, you can throw this on and be good to go boots. So I really love this piece. The reason why I stopped, what really caught my attention when I was walking by is, I saw this. It is an arm cuff, well, a wrist cuff. And the bands on the back come like this. So this is really friendly for people who have really tiny wrists, or if you're plus size and chunky like me, and you got bigger wrists, it fits to the actual size of your wrist. So when I saw this piece, I was like, girl, where we going? Everywhere. And this one I've got to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for you guys. And I like it because it goes on so easy. It's not something you have to have somebody else help you put on. But that's the piece right there. When I say I absolutely love this piece, I was like, girl, you know, do you know what type of trouble and what I'm going to do getting into this actual piece of this rose gold piece? I really love this piece right here. So the next piece, as I was standing there like, okay, I'm good, I can get ready to go. And I just happened to look down into her case that she had where they keep pieces locked away that are always out on display. And I messed around and was looking down and I saw this. I was like, same 
closing opening from the actual back as far as the rose goes. But when I sew this, I'm gonna put it on for you guys, then I'm gonna turn the lights down so you can see it a little bit better. But when I saw this, I was like, uh, girl, yes, please go ahead and take that out of the case and ring that up for me, please, please. So let's go ahead and turn on the lights so you guys can see both of them. Here's this one. And this is silver and crystals. And this one is a rose gold and crystals. So there they both are. And I will tell you guys the thing with costume jewelry, just take and spray it with clear, clear acrylic. You can get clear acrylic from Michaels. Take and spray it outdoors because it'll get you high if you do it in the house. But take and spray it down with clear acrylic and it'll last you for years. You don't have to worry about it irritating or aggravating your skin, tarnishing or anything like that. So you guys won't have to worry about that. The next thing that I saw that I had my eyes on were these. I was like, boo, I'm gonna need to go ahead and get these. My cat just scared me so bad. <laughs> I need to give my life. But here these are. And I like the fact that they're so big so they can hang like this. So if you have your hair, let's just say you're going somewhere and you have your hair pulled up and back. Girl, it's coming around this time of the year anyway. Coming up on all the events you be going to in March and April, all of the graduation, all of the white parties going into the summertime, all of the weddings for your friends and family members that are getting married. Man, these are going to be stunningly beautiful for you guys. And the last thing that I saw was something that I was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Now, I saw it and it, it immediately said, it's definitely a Lenoria piece. It's definitely a Lynn piece. No, no, no doubts about it. It's definitely a Lynn piece. It's just a price tag. I was like, uh, I'm, I'm so cheap when it comes to certain things. Like, I did. it's ridiculous the things that I'm cheap with versus the things I'll spend money on. Like, I'll be at Moe's and for extra steak on my burrito for $2.49. And I'd be like, no, that's too much money. $2.49. But then I go to support. Like, it's so stupid. But this piece is a statement piece. This piece is a piece that you're gonna have to find the perfect outfit for it. And you want your outfit to really be as plain as possible. Shoes need to pop. The shoes have to pop to match some part of this statement piece that I'm about to show you guys. But the outfit needs to be either form-fitting, flowing. <laughs> this type of necklace dictates that your hair is up to show off the earrings and the actual necklace, not a ponytail. A ponytail is gonna cheapen this look. Your hair needs to be pulled up into a bun, something, it needs to be completely pulled away. Low bun, high bun, whatever, I don't care. It needs to be completely up. But this is the piece. And the earrings come with it. And I was like, girl, what are we doing and where are we going? And I'm like everywhere with this piece. And I really love that they have the grow the different pieces that cross over. So you have the large stones and the smaller stones. So when you actually put this on up to and around your neck, girl, it's, it's with these earrings. You're definitely going to be the belle of whatever ball you're going to. Now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at something else in the haul. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the lights down low for this portion of the haul, too, just so you guys can see it pretty good. And then I'll go in and turn the lights up so you'll see it in two different lights so you'll get a better viewpoint of what it is. But this is going to be a crossbody slash book bag. And when I saw this, my husband and I we were out. 
and we were supposed to be looking for stuff for him and doing stuff for him. It was a special date day for him. You know how um, in your relationship, you know, you'll have date days where it's specifically geared for the other person or it's specifically geared for you. So it's whatever I want to do and whatever I want, that's what we're doing today and that's what I'm getting today. Or it's all about the other person. So this particular date day about a week and a half ago, I want to say. Um, yeah, this is almost two weeks ago. It was a day day for him, specifically for him. Everything that day was supposed to be for him. Shopping for him, eating, hanging out, you know, just running all over Atlanta specifically for him. But we walked into two boutiques and my eyes lit up, but it wasn't a shopping day for me. And he was like, if you want to get it. And I was like, eh, I don't know. He was like, if you want it, just go ahead and get it. I debated on whether or not putting this in here, but then again, I had to remember that sometimes when you work really hard and save up, then you're able to go ahead and get some of the things you really want. Plus, it makes sense for you to understand, especially if you're plus size, you know, what will fit, what will work, and what won't work. So the first thing I got is a book bag slash crossbody from Fendi with the extra strap in the back. And with this one, you just simply, it's a little pouch right here with a little buckle right here. And you just can simply open it up and just put whatever your stuff is that you wanna have on the inside, on the inside of it. So you can do all of that with this particular unit from Fendi. And the reason why this caught my attention was because I could actually wear this on my back part, like, wrong side. I could wear it on the back like a book bag since I wear so many sweatsuits and I go out. Or if you loosen up the actual straps on this particular one, it becomes something longer that you can wear as a crossbody. And because the strap gets so long, plus size people can wear it too. You know, that's the problem with trying to wear all these little cute little Fendi Champion and other name brands that we're not going to mention right now because they're being canceled. Prada, Gucci, we're talking to you guys. Montclair, we're talking to you guys. But uh, the problem with doing that in your plus size, it just doesn't fit your waist. My, my cat's freaking me out. I'm so sorry. But it doesn't fit your waist. So I was happy to find this unit from Fendi that I'm able to wear two different ways and it actually fits. It don't look crazy. It don't look like I'm suffocating in the seatbelt or something like that. So this is the first one that I got happy about that one. And the next thing that I got, that particular day I was just on a Fendi kick. Everything that I wanted was Fendi. Um, I do have a really nice luxury purse collection. If you guys ever want to see that in the future, just go ahead and let me know. And I can definitely go ahead and sit down and do a video and we can go through all of that together. But the next item that I got, I like to have items that are very unique, items that I'm not going to see four or five other women walking around Atlanta with the same thing, or when we go on trips and vacations, I don't want to see four or five women with the other same things. I just don't. Like shopping at Fashion Nova, I shop specifically for not the highest thing, but things that I can customize to be very unique for me to where I know if I do see somebody else, it might be once a year. Another person might have part of the outfit that I have on. I'm really funny like that. Like I can't go out to a bar, to a club, to a church, to a wedding. I can't go to hell and see somebody else with the same thing I got on. Like, I can't walk into a place and you have on the same shoes I got on or the same purse or the same, uh, you know, band or whatever it is. I just, I try to style and dress uniquely so that way it's not like cookie cutter just running around. You know, in your city, how many times do you see people in the same pink sweatsuits or whatever it may be? Yeah. I, I try to break up the monotony and be very, very unique. Plus, I'm plus size. That also helps me in being very unique because not everything fits me. So this is the second thing that I went ahead and got. And the reason why I caught my attention was because this right here is actually a pocket. It's actually a pocket you can get into. But the different colors right here really caught my attention. The accordion style part of it, that really caught my attention. And again, this is Fendi. 
And underneath the actual straps, these are little pockets where you can slide something in. And this one actually opens for a deeper pocket right here. And on the inside is a split area with two different sections. And it does have the little pockets on the actual inside to where you can actually have them and see them. And also it comes with an actual strap. So if you wanted to, I'll always carry it as a handbag. I'll never carry it as a strap on my shoulder or anything like that. Uh, this is always gonna be a hand purse for me. So I'll always carry it that way. Um, a thing for you guys, when you're storing your purses, I don't care if your purse was $20 or $200,000. When you're storing your purses, always stuff things in your purses so that way they keep their shape and form. That way they're not collapsing in on themselves and losing shape and or starting to crinkle or anything like that. Um, I definitely learned about 25 years ago. When you're starting out building, building a collection, start with great habits of uh, taking care of items, of storing items and keeping them pristine. So as you start to move in the ranks from a $20 purse to a $200 purse to a $2,000 purse to a $10,000 purse to a $200,000 purse to a million dollar purse, whatever. As you start to move to those ranks, of course, you'll get special storage units for just your purses. But you also, just a quick note, put paper, newspaper, something that won't damage the lining in the, in the interior. You don't want to put something inside of it that actually may bleed off into the interior lining. I typically just put plastic in mine from all of the boxes and everything that I order, the stuffing and stuff that come out of shoes, you know, whatever it is, I'll take and put that on the inside of my actual purse to keep the shape. And then I'll take and I'll put the dust bag, the dust bag that comes with them around them. So that way it's not rubbing or bumping against anything and it's sitting somewhere dust free. And I did say I was gonna show you guys the purses in regular light. So here's this one one more time. And here is the book bag crossbody. So if you've made it to this part of the video, hopefully you've seen something that you like. Hopefully it's something here that, you know, you may go into your local boutiques looking for, asking for, or if you're here in the lab, girl, just hit me up. I can definitely point you in some direction of some great boutiques. Or maybe it's something that you wanted to add to your bucket list. It's tax time, you wanna add this to your birthday list, your anniversary list, your Christmas list. Whatever list you're making, girl, make him go get it. Definitely make him go get it for you. Or, you know, 2019 is the year of boss chicks, right? Go buy your own, you know, whatever, who cares? But. Definitely reach out to me if you guys have any questions or if you have anything that I can help point you in. Definitely reach out to me if you guys know I always respond to you. But again, thank you so much for coming and spending time with me. And you already know, I don't care when you watch me, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, late at night, on your bathroom break at work. Girl, I don't care. I'm just happy that you chose to come spend some time with me. And as you already know, YouTube, thank you. Until next time.